Hey everybody, welcome. This is the Paper Outpost. I'm Pam and today is Junk Journal Craft Chat. We're going to be answering some of your crafty questions, picking two winners for the scrappy contest, paper and fabric, and we're going to be making little mini notebooks today. I have some old ledger paper. This is kind of cool, vintage. I don't exactly know the age on this one, but I love this paper. I love the the blue and the red lines and the numbering and all that is so cool. I wanted to put it to good use. Now I could just fold this up and tuck it into a pocket or a tuck, something like that, or into a belly band in a journal, but I thought, you know, let's just transform this little baby into something fun. Now here is a piece of ugly scrapbook paper that I had transformed a while back. Uh, I think I used gelatos and a fingernail scraping technique. I'll see if I can find this video and link it below. But um, I have a couple others to pick from and I thought I might put these to use today. Uh, these were just some fun um, uh, foresty tree scenes that I did. Same concept. I think this was, uh, yeah, I think that was old scrapbook paper. Not sure. But I know this one definitely was. So um, I thought I would use this for the covers of these little mini uh, journals. So I'm going to get my old friend uh, metal tearing new ruler and do some tearing. Let's see. Let's maybe decide our size of the covers first. Okay, I don't want them to be too huge. I'm just randomly tearing these, no real reason, uh, rhyme or reason to the size other than it looks good to me, you know what I mean? And uh, maybe I can do three out here. I think I want to take this little edge off. It's a little torn. Um, so that will handle that little issue. And now I'll just cut, tra cut, tear, tear, I'm tearing this in half. That's this is called tearing for those of you who are new to paper crafting. <laughs> okay, so now I have these pretty little things and I can turn these into covers easily. Now they look, oh, I should have done this first. Um, they look kind of yucky on this side, so I thought I would mount something here just to fill it in a little bit. What have I got here in the old pile of roux? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Um, oh, that's pretty, okay. But it could be anything, like anything, like a dictionary page, that would look cool. All right, so maybe I'll put some dictionary page here, and maybe I'm going to come along with the old, the old, uh, the old Scotch Create glue stick, permanent glue stick. I just like the glue. Um, and here we go. I'm going to get this all over, going to the edges. That's important. The corners. That's important to do. Okay, I'm just going to try and put it everywhere, and maybe I can do this quickly, um, not in a rushed fashion, but just expeditiously. For the video purposes. Okay, here we go to the corners. Can you see? Okay. Sometimes I get a little overly excited and start crafting and you guys can't see squats, so I try not to do that. Okay, maybe. Well, this would fit sideways better, but then the orientation is weird, but it could be an up-down. Let's just go with this. Okay. Let me get to the Don't overthink it, Pam. Okay, I just want the text on there. Okay, there. I think I have text. Then I have enough left over down here. I can cover this last little spot. Make, I'm making sure I knock everything over appropriately as I'm doing this. Okay. And then we have that. Okay, so now we are covered. Guess that would mean we need to do something here. Oh, look at that. I'm out. But I have a lot more, so I'm okay. Yeah, it's all right. There we go. All right, got that down. Now... When you flip it over, you can see where to cut. And you can cut with scissors or you can cut with a craft knife. I think I'll cut with a craft knife. Um, uh, I like to use a craft knife and let's hope this goes well. Uh, righty, just the shape. I hope I have a sharp. Okay, I might not. I might not. So let me just get a different one. I think that one's dead already. So let me, okay, I think this one is sharp. We're going to find out. All right, can you see? I start at the top and then we'll move it. Push down firmly. Light blade. Okay, that came out well. Advancing it north so you can see. And oh, now that's what I was worried about what happened. What happened over here? Not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so blade is not sharp enough. That's what that means. Uh, so I'm getting the little pliers that I use to pop off the blade. I'm going to put some glasses on when I do this, but, and I know the little thing is here, but I never have luck with that, so I'm going to show you what I do to get this off here. 
wear goggles, wear glasses, look away, do something. Yeah, and then put that in a safe place. My garbage. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how safe that is, but I'm the only one who empties it, so there you go, I know it's there. So I know not to reach my hand down there and push down and stuff like that. Be careful. <clears throat> so, again. Oh yeah, see, it should be like butter. And then you know you have a sharp blade. So if you start with that rumpling, like I got, that means your blade is not sharp enough. Oh, too close, sorry. There we go. Oh, that's way me too far. There. Just right, Goldilocks. Get it in. Get it in the right place. Okay. So we put this here. And I've been, you know, I, I made this paper. I love this paper. And then I forgot about this paper. So today is the day the paper gets used. This transformed scrapbook paper. Kind of fun to use the things that you mass make. It feels good. Hope you're having a dandy day today and things are rocking in your world and you get a little extra crafty time today because it feels so good to relax and unwind with the paper. Um, okay, what do we got? All right, so now we have a nice inside. You could ink this. You could not ink this. Maybe I'll do some black soda inking just for fun. I don't know. I'm just goofing around today. Whatever. Whatever. This is a whatever day. Okay? It's just... This is what's, that's my brown dauber on my black ink. Did you see that? That's how that happens. That's how quickly it happens when you're a little lazy crafter and you can't turn around and get the right dauber. We have now officially mixed the two colors on the dauber, but it's all good. It's like the same color family, whatever. Um, it's all going to look vintagey in the end. Okay. Now let's, this is going to be, it fold it. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a cute side. Well, that would make the writing upside down. Oh, well, too bad, Pam. Um, we're going to grab this. Now we're going to use this as a, a measuring tool. I know I need to have it narrower than this, so I want it to come. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. And then I'm um, well, put this over here. The best way is like move it up a little bit and move it in a little bit. And then it should, it should be right. Where's the pencil? Okay, here's the pencil. Um, there, there, should be good. Okay, at least for this one. Now I will. Boy, I hope this works. We're going to find out. Okay, just cut this off. Same technique. Down we go. Oh, just cut off the piece I needed to know where to cut across. See, got to cut that one first, <coughs> I guess. All right, let's see where that was. There. Okay, so it's about where this blue line is. Don't take your eye off. I, I lost it. I was like, <laughs> don't take your eye off that blue line. And then I turned it and I lost it. So I'll just figure out where it was again. That blue line. Okay, cut there. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. And here we go. All right. So now we have our little template. We can just go down the road. Cut a few more. Okay, so it's about right there. Stay still, Pam. I know you just had your coffee. A little jittery. A little jittery here. And one more. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that'll give us three. And I love to make little notebooks that are can be tucked into journals. It's just a little gift of extra writing space. And uh, it's just fun. It's just fun. Okay, where do I want this number one to go? Maybe on the outside of the signature. Okay, so we'll put you there. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter which way you go. Just make them random. Okay. Hold them all at the same time for simplicity's sake. One step to do multiple things is good. Now, this is going to be a very extremely easy book. Um, okay, so in here, I'm going to fold. Now, this should nestle nicely inside if I... Yeah, it's inside the cover very well. Um, I'm going to do this. I have an idea here. This is obviously wider than I need. Okay. A couple things we could do. We could fold, we could just cut them off at the point we want, which would be very easy, or you could fold them in. Yes, you could totally fold them in. All right, let's do this. Oh, here's a little, like, maybe a little covered thing. That would be cute. Yeah, I like that idea. 
Okay, we're creating on the fly here. Um, just before the papers, I'm going to maybe a quarter of an inch, fold that there, fold this here. It could be a little wrap around, that would be cute. But no, maybe I fold this one back a little bit in, just for fun. And that gives me a little pocket there. That couldn't give me a little pocket on the inside too, but I just felt like being different. Yeah, just putting a little pocket on the outside today. Yeah, there we go. Um, kind of cool, right? And I, I wonder if Fabrifix will hold that because um, it's a waxy substance, this gelato um, that I colored it with. Let's just see what happens. Let's do the old test drive. This is in Land of the Unknown. If it doesn't work, I can either staple it or I can sew it. I have my ways. We have our ways to get around the things that do not stick. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, I'll just give that a second to grab. And while that's thinking about grabbing, we will go ahead and attach the signature, our little signature of, it'll be, well, we have three sheets times four is 12 pages, front and back, which is kind of cute, right? Put that there. And then I thought I'd just come in with a very uncomplicated technique called stapling. Yes. Now I was looking for, I had some sponge that I used to staple into and I can't find it. I hide it on myself all the time. I'm hoping that my stapler, maybe my stapler will reach. See if it will reach. Oh, I, oh no. Maybe I can just fold this up a little bit and now I can reach? I think so. Pull, okay, yeah, we're in. We're in. Oh, let's hope that's straight. It looks straight. Okay. And if you have this sponge, you could staple into a sponge or a book or something like that. I think I only need two staples here. All right. Try to do it on the spine. There. Straighten that back out like it never happened. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And there we go. So that's kind of cute, right? Okay, let's answer some of your questions and uh, see where we're going with this. Okay, where's my little mouse? I need that to drive. Okay, <clears throat> I've got a million comments about what is that horrible sound on the last video? Yes, I have no idea. I tested the sound on this one and it seemed to be okay. So I'm saying that's good. I'm hoping we're going to we're going to see if the sound is good. Let's cross our fingers. OK, um, so I'll just. OK, so these I, I don't know what happened, but what happened to the sound? Well, OK, Wanda Sinclair says got notepads, transform ordinary notepads into handy gifts um, was a video I did before. And she asked, what is a Happy Meal? I hear it a lot, but I only heard it from McDonald's. That's where I heard it, too, from is a Happy Meal um, from McDonald's. Don't know what we were doing there. Um, another sound video sound video um jackie cherry says uh, lots of ideas here thanks for another video you must stay really busy do you ever rest blessings to all and that was the flat writing junk journal ideas and tips got colored pencils video so thank you for that jackie i hope you had some fun with that yeah just trying to use different supplies and um <laughs> So what I just, um, rest, rest, you can rest when you're dead, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think crafting is fun for me, so I'm motivated to get up and do it. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's more like play than work. So there you go. Um, that's where the motivation comes from. Um, uh, here's another one on the same video, but it was the part two, Flat Writing Junk Journal Idea Tips, uh, Colored Pencils Part Two. And uh, Zita Jordan says, uh, nice, are you going to write in this journal on top of the picture? Oh, she's probably talking about this picture. I did a central uh, picture. Um, I'm thinking it's probably the butterfly, which is it in here? Here it is. You could technically write over this. Um, I, when I did part two, I did it a little bit darker. Um, so you could technically write in the little butterfly wing cells, um, or you could write with black magic marker, like that type of thing over it. It would show totally up to you. Um, there you go. Ah, uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, Daisy, um, dash H N three Y U says, do you a photo album? Um, and that is on the video. Fabulous. Fa Fabulous Fabric Collage Junk Journal Covers Tutorial. Um, uh, I'm wondering if she's asked, do I, have I ever made a photo album, like a, maybe a traditional scrapbook? 
No. <laughs> um, I do use black and white photos in my junk journals. I love to use those. They're very nostalgic to me, very vintage looking, uh, sometimes antique. And I just think it's a really cool thing to add to junk journals. So if you happen to come across them and they don't have any copyright issues, um, yeah, they're fun to use. Um, I really, I really do like using photos. Generally, they're not of my family. The only one I really have of my family is my grandmother's. I made one for my grandmother. I had a collection of things from her papers when she came up over from Europe, from Hungary on the Cunard, um, boat line, uh, and travel papers for her and her son at the time. And, um, uh, some pictures and photo ID of her and things like that. So I did make a journal just to house all of that. And that is really, really cool. And that's fun to show family when they come over because, you know, it, you know, it's just that's that's kind of neat. So that's how I do it. But I never really traditionally scrapbooked with the old scrapbook method. Um, I came after that. So I, I fell into the world of junk journals. So there you go. Um, so this is very cute. It's very uh, this little notebook is very thin. It will easily go into a junk journal. I could do more decorating on it, but I think I'm just going to let it rest right now. And when I get ready to use it in a journal, I may go ahead and, and, and do something with it in that regard. So that used up that whole paper. Yeah, that whole ledger paper. So that's a done deal. Um, next question. Uh, Anna H. Mercier says, would you tell me what the name of the pens are that release ink? Your work is, oh, the pens that release ink. The pens. Did she mean the, the uh, Did she mean the pencil? The aquarellable Stabilo water soluble graphite pencil that when you draw a line and then you add water to it, it will bloom. Eight oh four six. Maybe that could be. Uh, oh, although she's looking at the video called "Teeny Tiny Cards and Envelopes," and I think I just. I'm not sure. I don't even want to guess. I don't know what I did there. Sorry. Um, Okay, so uh, that was helpful, huh? Um, maybe Tombow markers, maybe Jane Davenport markers. I'm trying to look at the, the cover picture, the thumbnail picture for the video to try and see what I was making. Um, Louise DeMole asks, Hi Pam, really love Craft Chat. I finally made a journal with fabric and magazine pages sewn together. What fun, who knew? What else can we make with those endless magazine pages? I know, the endless magazine pages. Have you ever seen the, um, the it's kind of messy, but there's this stuff called citrusol, which is a, has an orange essential oil in it. And if you go outside, definitely do this outside on the grass somewhere, and you'll probably kill your grass. But um, you take some magazine pages and you spritz citrusol over it. It's a solvent, a degreaser normally used for regular things around the house and then it will dissolve the ink and all the inks will mold, meld together and uh, bloom and blossom and show little um, cells and stuff it's really cool and then you let those dry forever and they it stinks forever um, but if you can handle that you put, this is kind of the, one of those things that you try once and never do it again. How do I know? How do I know? And, uh, but you'll get some really cool, arty, arty looking background pages. Um, um, that's a fun thing to do with the magazine pages. And then you could just, you know, have fun cutting out images and stuff like that as well. So, um, uh, Laura Olivo, 865 says, hello, thanks for the lesson on the flat, not flat, uh, journal, the final chapter video. I just looked it up. Guess what? It is an actual clothes wringer. I think she's thinking maybe of a mangler. Can you imagine hand wringing stuff? Thanks for all the inspiration and ideas. I think I might have mentioned the word mangler. I'm trying to think of what would be a clothes wringing thing. I think it's a mangler. Um, okay, so where are we? Yeah, we're good. Okay, carry on. Um, so we could probably make another one. Let's see how it is. Do we have any other papers here? I'm going, no, not that. Oh, yeah. I was looking. I was looking for this the other day. My, one of my last pieces of the funeral um, thing. All over my desk. And now I look and it's right there. You know, what? what is that? What is all that? And what is up with that? So sometimes you can use. Oh, we got to back this. So let's maybe use music paper this time. Yeah. Let's just do it. Okay. I snuck away and I got a new glue stick because I was getting low. So comes already preloaded so you're ready to go right out of the gate 
And let's just do the same thing. We'll put some back. And this time I'm going to use some uh, vintage music paper, which I, I think is pretty. And because I'm a messy crafter, as you can see, I got all this whatnot on the back. Okay, that's pretty good. Down the sides, oh, stuck to it everywhere. Eternally, eternally stuck to it. All right, let's see how this goes. I might have to be a little more generous with the paper I use. Make sure I have enough. Oh, thumbprint on it. How'd that happen? Can't imagine. We'll figure that out later. Um, where's the ruler? See, I didn't go anywhere. It should be right here. Right, it is. It's right here. Okay. Um, okay, now it's a little tricky because I can't see the bottom. I want to turn it over, but I got glue here. So let's have the. I'm have, I'm hanging that piece of stuff off the t the desk so I don't glue myself into oblivion here. Let me just try and tear this off. I guess I could cut this off, but I'm, I'm tearing it. Oh, that was easier. Okay, yeah, that worked. Oof. Phew! Okay. I'm going to tear the edge so I end up with the music bars right there, and it'll look so cool. Put it right there. Yeah. So good, so good. Oh, yeah, there we are talking. Now get in there and glue that little edge down. Okay. And it's sticking up. I don't know why the top one's sticking, but it's sticking. I must have transferred some glue onto it somehow. And we will remove this. Sometimes it's better if you turn the ruler upside down to give the sharp edge. There, you'll get a sharper cut. Okay, that was, wasn't exactly super sharp. It's a tear cut, but it is, it is a cut with a tear. Okay, um, so this thing where I stuck my thumb there, which isn't the greatest looking thing, I can actually uh, just mask that with some more music paper. How about that? Yeah, let's do that, Pam. Um, well, let's just tear something out. I'll just put a little, a little fix-it spot there. Yeah, there we go. It's perfect. We'll just cover it. It'll look like a little mini music collage over there instead of my thumbprint. Okay. Just a little recessed from the bottom and the side, and we are covered, so it's good. All right, we are good. And now we need some paper on the inside. What are you going to put on the inside, Pam? Hang on. Okay, this time I've decided this is going to be a scrappy notebook, not a traditional little writing notebook, but we're just, I'm going to use up what I have on my desk. That's where I'm going with this. Okay, so I have an old receipt. I can use that. I've got some old um, dictionary page. Just randomly looking here. Not that. That won't work. Oops. Now, a lot, some things are torn. Okay, well, not you. Um, I need some more actual pages of something. Here's uh, some ads. Here's some um, something technical. Notions pre preliminaires. Okay, you look sound very official. Uh, maybe I want to. Here's some. Here's a newspaper page. Put you in here. So you, this is a great way to use up your little whatnots. You know what I mean? So if you have some whatnots, you just pull them on out and make a little collection. Oh, this is cool. This is like an old ad or something. Okay, get that there. Oh, maybe I can use. This is actually very pretty. I think I'm going to use all of it and stagger it in here. Okay. I'm going to put one of you on the outside. You're kind of cool. Maybe one in here and one in here. Okay. So now I'm going to assemble where I think the middle should be. I have no idea. Fold in half. Okay. Why? It's 100 degrees in here again. Why? I, I know it's got to be 70. I'm just excited to see you guys. And um, I feel like, whoops, yeah, I feel I want to knock it all apart and lose my center. That's what I want. Um, I feel like I want something lighter on the outside to give it a little bit of a, a pop or something. You know, something. What is this? Abundance? Okay, we could do that. Um, let's just fold this on there. Sometimes when you want to get all your papers down, you do one of these moves. That helps. And then you come along with your bone folder. Which is where, here it is, I have two, I can only find one at the moment. Yeah, two is one and one is none, you know what they say. That's what they say. All right, I like the flower, I'm gonna get the flower on here. They put him more in the front, abundance. Okay, that's nice. I, I'm probably gonna end up chopping all that off, but we'll get the flower anyway, I'll get the flower. In, oh, look at that, messed it up again. Okay, now, 
Now nothing's where I can't work. Okay, I'm going to orient this so my flower is right where I want. That's what I want. The flower is there. Okay, so what I'm going to do in my, my great wisdom is I'm going to go in and staple this thing together so it stops jumping around on me. You could paper clip it too, but it's, you know, paper clips are way over there. Way over there. Okay, let's get in there and staple. Turn it over. Hold it. Don't sneeze. Don't wiggle. Lightly fold and oh, I'll put it in the middle. Okay, right down here. Yeah, I'm probably putting some fold in it. I'll straighten it out. It'll be all right. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. I stapled one to it. Oh, it's just gonna that's gonna get cut off anyway, so that's okay. There. Oh, that's a nice little book in itself. I didn't even need the cover. How about that? That's just kind of cute the way it is. But we are going to uh, have it fit in the cup delight. Where's the? Here's the cover. Okay. So, how much do I actually need to cut off? Let me cut. Let me fold my cover. Folding the cover. Oh, I forgot to staple it into the cover. Oh, nuts. <laughs> That's okay. I only really need one staple. All right. That'll be all right. That'll work. Okay. And I think... Let's just do this now. Let's just be bold. We're going to do this and be bold. Okay, where's that flower? I want most of the flower. And put that there. And then I'm going to come here and make my cut of cutness. So this is going to be the, the bitter edge of everything's coming up. I'm not doing any foldy flappy rows. No, nope. just keeping it simple with this one. Okay, go to, go to the top, cut this off. And then I will staple it. Okay, got that off. Don't move. Don't breathe. Now this one will not have any indent. The signature will be flush with the, the border of the book, the little notebook. See, it's already starting to get dull. I'm, I'm getting skipping occur if I didn't push hard enough. Uh, but that's actually okay. There. Now I just have to attach my signature. Am I in the middle? Can't tell. No, nope, that's not the middle. Very important. You double check you're in the middle. Are you in the middle? Now you're in the middle. Okay. I need to find a spot. There's no staple. Could do up here. Could do in the middle. I think I'm going to go for the middle middle. Also known as the middle. The actual middle. There we go. Now make sure you don't staple the underfolded part. There. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. We got a little book. There we go. Retract. Always. And maybe ink the edges so they're not starky white. It's a nice little trick. And maybe I'm going to round the edges on this one. Yeah, I'm just going bold with this one. We're going to get, get your rounder. Okay, I'm up here. I hope this cuts nicely. This is the Crocodile 2 Corner Chomper. It's a roundy chomper. You get a big roundy cut or a little roundy cut. This is, I just have one left because I broke the other one. Um, but, yeah. So it could be this way. could be this way. I guess it's got to be this way, right? Yeah, because everything's right side up. So it is, it is officially this way. And it, this, I would consider a little tearaway notebook that like you'd use these pieces to decorate, collage, do fun things, just learn about different things. Like, hey, that's kind of cool, you know? And um, there's the flower, bullseye. Um, so we've got these two little guys. That was fun, right? Just fun things you can do. And you can, you can tuck you know, something in here if you wanted to, you know, like it, it, you'd have, you know, fold it to fit, but you could definitely put something in there. That's a nice little pocket. Yeah. So fun little <clears throat> notebooks that can be added to junk journals. Now let us move forward and pick our contest winner. So this first one is for the fabric scrappy contest. Hold on. Okay, so if you want to win the fabric scrap, you know, if you want to enter the contest for the fabric scraps or the paper scraps, um, put, post a comment in this week's video, and that's the video I will pull the comment, the winner from, in next week's video. And the video is on uh, Fridays. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it's my junk journal craft chat video each week, so that's what you do. And if you win, you send me your name and mailing address and say, I won the scrappy Paper, I won the paper scrap contest or I won the fabric scrap contest and then I will mail that out to you. So there you go. That's how it's done. Now the only way you're going to know if you won 
It, I will not post a comment down below with your comments. I will not reach out to you. You'll only know you won by watching the video and seeing your name pop up. So if you think you won by any other reason, and I say this because sometimes we get trolls who try and make it look like I'm contacting you. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Um, uh, only you got to watch the video. If you see your name, you actually won. Okay. And you have till next Thursday to contact me. Okay. There you go. Here we go. This is the fabric scrappy contest winner. Here we go. Here we go. Will it be you? It will be you, Sharon Oxner. Congratulations. Way to go. And now we will do the fabric scrappy contest. No, the paper. This is the paper. This is the paper. So we did fabric first. Pugy. Pugy. There you go. You won. Um, way to go. And um, uh, so you you rock. Just go ahead and contact me by next Thursday with the instructions I gave. And we are good to go. Okay, then. Here we go. Hi, everybody. It's Sunshine. It's time for my pup date. I am officially a cub pup reporter reporting on the happenings about the house. Um... Well, there was chicken yesterday. We can say I got a morsel. It was a very small morsel, but mommy doesn't want to upset my tummy. <laughs> no, we, we don't want that. No, 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 no. I don't understand why. I mean, I, I am a carnivore and I eat meat. It's what I do. I don't know why she gives me that kibble stuff, but I'm sure I'm a carnivore because I really like chicken. Um, Okay, yeah, we get the point. Yeah, no. Um, Mom, you have more chicken in the fridge. I smelt it. I can smell it through the fridge door. Even when it's closed, I can smell the chicken. I would like some chicken today, Mom. I'm just saying. That's not reporting. Okay, I got, I got distracted by the chicken. Um, okay, so what's going on? Let's see. Um, um, there's... No visiting friends for sunshine today. No Baxter didn't come. No, no. I saw a squirrel. I did. I barked. He ran. And life is good. <laughs> well, that's, that's very good. Anything else? Um, I slept. I, I played with a, an old water bottle. Um, what else? I, I curled up really cute like in my basket. Yeah, I did. And, um... I made sure that mom is okay, and she seems fine, so everything is good. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sunshine. You're welcome. Happy crafting, everybody. Okay, there you go. Um, all right, why don't you work on your material? I think it was a little dry. Okay, so he's going to do his best. And um, thank you for everybody who has been here. Welcome to everybody who is new to Junk Journal World. Um, I think everybody ought to make a book at least once in their life, and this is kind of how to do that, and this is kind of how to stuff it with fun, crazy, interesting, fun things that we make or create or find, or, or who knows where you come across this stuff, but we're going to collect it all and put it in a book and um, give it purpose. And uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter that... Um, uh, if you sign up for that, all the links for everything are down below in the description drop-down box. Um, you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas on how to break the blank page, all in this freebie section in the bottom of every newsletter that comes out. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays. Okay, I'm just washing my hands. Um, okay, so these are my links if you cannot see the drop-down description box. But the newsletter link is this if you want to type that all out. If you're having a hard time finding it, that will help. These are the links to my Etsy shop. Um, my t-shirt shop, I have... Um, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Here's my email address if you forgot or you're trying to let me know you won the contest. That's how you let me know. I have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges. I have an Amazon shop, the Paper Outpost Amazon shop, where I try and put links to the things that I use in the video so you can find them as well. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for that. And here, if you just like can't stand typing out all this nonsense, just type out this and then click and then 
that'll give you hyperlinks to all these things. I think everything is there. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure, and there's probably a few more things in there too. Um, yeah, so you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Um, and remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. And uh, don't forget you have glue and ink on your fingers. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.